all right guys wes here welcome back to the channel and with how stacked of a year 2023 has been it might be a bit easy to forget how it all started one of the first major releases of this year was hogwarts legacy the long-awaited single-player rpg set in the harry potter universe that finally allowed players to create their own student of the famed wizarding academy and go a year at the school in the house of their choice and play through a new story that plays within the foundations of the universe we all know and love hogwarts legacy was a runaway success reportedly surpassing warner brothers sales expectations by over 250% and passing 15 million units sold in its first three months on the market. Hogwarts Legacy also boasts the second highest concurrent player count ever for a single player game on Steam, second only behind Cyberpunk 2077, and even became the most watched single player game on Twitch by a pretty significant margin. But since then, what has become of Hogwarts Legacy? Well, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look back at this game, how it came to be, what its future looks like, and when we can expect to see that future start taking shape. Let me know in the comment section if you're still playing Hogwarts Legacy and tell me how many hours you have on the game and without further delay let's get into it the story behind hogwarts legacy is pretty crazy and in the modern gaming industry it's actually kind of a miracle that it was made at all the developers avalanche software were previously owned by disney and if you were gaming in the 2000s you probably played some of their games remember tack and the power of juju or the surprisingly great cars 2 and the toy story 3 tie-in games disney recruited them to make the disney infinity franchise which was pretty successful but after the figurine craze died down in the late 2010s disney announced that they were shutting down the studio and that's where Warner Brothers swooped in. Disney shut down Avalanche Software in mid-2016, but less than a year later, WB Games bought the studio and opened them back up. Shortly after the acquisition, Warner Brothers established Port Key Games, a publishing division solely dedicated to games based on the Harry Potter universe. It's believed that work on Hogwarts Legacy began in early or mid-2017, and the final budget ended up being somewhere around $150 million, making it one of the more expensive games to come out recently. From the start, the team wanted this game to be totally unique and not have any impact on the established storyline of the story but still fit comfortably within it allowing fans to have the hogwarts experience they always dreamed of while watching the movies or reading the books certain characters from the franchise make appearances and there are a handful of references to others but the story of hogwarts legacy was always intended to be something that stood on its own and added to the universe rather than as a reinterpretation of it and i think that's one of the reasons why it was such a big success but for a studio that was avalanche's size it was an extremely ambitious project and thankfully warner brothers was willing to give the team all of the time and funding they needed to get the job done right, which was a very good thing since it wouldn't be long before the delays started. Development footage of Hogwarts Legacy was leaked all the way back in 2018. I actually made a video on the same day that it was leaked, but it wouldn't be until 2020 that the game was officially revealed. Hype was through the roof for its 2021 release, but obviously the team didn't end up hitting those deadlines. The game was publicly delayed multiple times and a number of industry insiders reported that there were even more behind the scenes delays that we were never even told about. Ultimately, the release date was pushed back to February 2023 for the PC. Xbox series and PS5 versions while the Xbox One and PS4 needed even more time in the oven with the Switch version not even out yet. While the exact reasons for all of the delays haven't been confirmed by the team, it's believed that they stemmed from the insane size and scope of the game as well as a number of technical difficulties that came from having to develop a game of this size for both the 8th and 9th generation consoles. It's also been revealed through data mining that there was going to be a ton of additional content and mechanics in Hogwarts Legacy that ended up being cut before they were completed, likely due to time constraints or just change in direction. For example, the RPG mechanics were originally going to be much deeper, and there would have been things like companion systems and possibly even romance options. But obviously, those mechanics didn't make it to the final build of the game, possibly due to deadlines, but also possibly so the final experience could be something less oppressive to casual gamers, which ended up being the right financial decision for Avalanche Software and Warner Brothers games. Although I'm not the only one who would have loved a deeper and more traditional RPG experience in this world. Despite all of the setbacks and compromises, Hogwarts Legacy was a massive of success and was definitely worth all of the time and money that Warner Brothers put into it. Again, the budget was estimated to be somewhere around 150 million, but managed to break $1 billion in revenue within its first three months on the market. It was easily one of the biggest games of 2023, but now that we're nearing the end of the year, a lot of people are wondering if it still has a chance at being awarded game of the year by any major outlet. Personally, I don't think it has a real shot, but that's mainly because of how insane of the year this has been. In any other year, Hogwarts Legacy would have been a top contender for game of the year, but this year we have seen massive games like Baldur's Gate 3, Starfield, Final Fantasy 16, Tears of the Kingdom, and we're still waiting on Alan Wake 2 and Spider-Man 2. And then you have the underdog picks like Street Fighter 6, Resident Evil 4, and Super Mario Brothers Wonder. 2023 has been one of the biggest years for gaming in a long time, and I think that's ultimately going to mean Hogwarts Legacy doesn't really have a shot at winning game of the year at any major event or outlet. It'll probably be in the running for the title, and it will certainly show up in plenty of year-end polls, but I don't think it's actually going to walk away with any titles. But 
remember that doesn't mean anything about the game's quality hogwarts legacy is a fantastic game no matter how many awards it wins or doesn't who knows maybe dumbledore will show up and rig it in hogwarts legacy's favor like he did gryffindor winning the house cup when it comes to post-launch support for hogwarts legacy i think that's actually going to be one of the weakest attributes avalanche software had obviously never done anything of this size before and they've been very open about the fact that they were not at all planning for it to explode the way that it did that being said they likely weren't expecting to do much post-launch support and they certainly weren't planning on doing a major expansion remember hogwarts legacy surpassed warner brothers games sales expectations by over 250 percent so they likely weren't expecting there to be such a demand for post-launch content or support but that unfortunately makes the lack of post-launch content all the more glaring there has been a decent number of stability patches released for hogwarts legacy and they've done great things for the game's quality of life but when it comes to adding more content to the base experience we've been pretty much out of luck on that front as it seems warner brothers is putting all of that funding into the game's sequel instead of supporting the success of the first game which i suppose makes sense from a business standpoint but it's definitely a bit of a letdown for those of us who put hundreds of hours into hogwarts legacy already there are still some rumors floating around regarding some kind of paid expansion or major content patch in the works for hogwarts legacy but i've made it pretty clear on this channel that i'm not expecting those rumors to come true as much as i would love them to the game is coming up on its first anniversary and avalanche software have said multiple times that they don't have plans for anything is it possible to change plans yes always but given what we know about the studio and the way that wb is running things i just don't see that happening a sequel for hogwarts legacy has been all but confirmed and avalanche has made it clear that it will be built on unreal engine 5 as opposed to the first game that was built on unreal engine 4. they're going to need a decent amount of extra time to get the hang of the new engine and with how much time hogwarts legacy spent in the oven before launch warner brothers likely wants to ensure development of the sequel goes as smoothly as possible which means minimal distractions the switch version of hogwarts legacy is still in development and i'm guessing the entirety of avalanche software is going to be working on the sequel once that final port goes gold ultimately i think it's still possible that a paid expansion comes out sometime next year but at this point wb probably won't see a return on investment as worth it and they most likely would rather just put the funding towards the next game and again i can't blame them for that when it comes to the future of the harry potter license in the world of gaming there is still quite a bit in the pipeline warner brothers established portkey games with the intention of releasing a ton of harry potter related content to gamers around the world and so far we know about a handful of projects in development obviously there's the hogwarts legacy sequel that is believed to be an early development but then there's also the upcoming standalone quidditch game called harry potter quidditch champions that i'm actually excited for this is going to be the first quidditch themed video game since the quidditch world cup game which was released all the way back in 2003 for the pc ps2 and gamecube and xbox bonus points if you remember that game and you played it quidditch champions will be a free-to-play multiplayer game that will feature tons of fan favorite characters from the harry potter universe and if done properly it could be a smash hit heck i wouldn't be surprised if this game ended up becoming an esport to some degree the release window for quidditch champions is still unknown but it had a limited play test in april and one recently and has reportedly been in development for a few years already so i'm expecting that it will be released to the public at some point in 2024 as we approach the one year anniversary of hogwarts legacy's release date in february of 2024 the biggest question that we have to answer ourselves is did this game live up to the hype and what is it going to look like 10 years from now will hogwarts legacy stand the test of time as one of the greatest video games in the wizarding world of all time or will it fizzle out and be forgotten like some of the movie tie-in games if you told me five or even 10 years ago that we would get the opportunity to experience a harry potter game that takes place at a hogwarts that had nothing to do with the movies i would tell you that you're a liar so will hogwarts legacy be forgotten will it be something that we remember for years to come that's obviously a case-by-case -case basis for me the experience of entering hogwarts castle in hogwarts legacy is something that i will remember for my entire life it truly was an experience like no other and eight months later i still think about this game every single day and i still boot it up just to fly around on my broom and on a magical beast so yeah i don't think i'm gonna forget about hogwarts legacy anytime soon and the countdown until hogwarts legacy sequel has started but what do you guys think about the state of harry potter in gaming do you think hogwarts legacy has a shot at game of the year or do you think it's going to be overshadowed by some of the other heavy hitters of 2023 what do you want from the hogwarts legacy sequel and is hogwarts legacy a game that will be remembered or will it be forgotten that's going to wrap it up with this video guys do me a favor leave a like if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel with your notifications turned on and until next time this has been wes and i will talk to you guys in the next video